for the last eight weeks, 16 men have scratched and clawed, trying to etch their name in the annals of history as the 2024 winner of the Cruiserweight Classic. Competitors from SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling graced the legendary Hammerstein Ballroom and fought their hardest in an attempt to be victorious. Now, we are down to the only two men left standing. The Cardiac Kid, Wesley, is set to meet the Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Bate. The championship gold, as well as the tournament itself, hang in the balance. After a long, yet exciting road, we have finally arrived to the finale of the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic! And whose name will be known worldwide by the end of this event? We welcome you one final time to Manhattan, New York, as we approach the Hammerstein Ballroom. It is week eight. It is the finale of the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic. Over the last eight weeks, 16 individuals fought their hardest inside of the squared circle, but we are down to two. SmackDown superstars, participants from NXT, as well as TNA Wrestling. But it all comes down to the two men who started all the way at the bottom of the bracket. Coming up later this afternoon, the Cardiac Kid, Wesley, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. And it is for all the marbles. Bates Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. And of course, it is the finals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. It's going down right here in Midtown Manhattan. But as advertised, there is more action going down on this Sunday afternoon. Not one, but two championship affairs. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio, known to the universe as the Latino World Order, gracing us with their presence, issuing an open challenge after a successful defense of their gold this past Thursday on SmackDown. Well, we are kicking off what is going to be one hell of a Sunday here in the WWE. Of course, a massive power outage in our production studio, putting Survivor Series back a day. Survivor Series is going down later tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern time, live for all of you watching at home, and it's going down in the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. But this Sunday afternoon action kicks off right here in Midtown Manhattan. The LWO hot off the heels of defeating A-Town down under and watching that team go up and smoke on SmackDown just a few days ago, issuing an open challenge for their WWE Tag Team titles. Two men who know this tournament very well, Dragon Lee, who participated just last week in the semifinal round and was knocked out of the tournament by Wes Lee. But who is going to accept this open challenge. Oh, wait a minute. A familiar sound as Axiom and Nathan Frazier approach the squared circle. Well, these two men also knockouts of the Cruiserweight Classic. Nathan Frazier was bumped by Dragon Lee in the quarterfinal round. Axiom knocked out all the way in the first round by, again, Wesley, who has clearly had his hands all over the participants in this matchup. Axiom and Nathan Frazier taking advantage of the opportunity that presents itself and are gunning for the WWE Tag Team titles. Well, this is going to be one hell of a way to kick off what's going to be a great Sunday of action here in the WWE. We are live, Hammerstein Ballroom, jam-packed in Midtown Manhattan for the eighth week, the final week. It's the Cruiserweight Classic Finale. Championship gold is on the line. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Tag championship introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 336 pounds the team of nathan frazier and axia and their opponents at a combined weight of 300
40 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee, we Well, here we go. The WWE Tag Team titles are on the line. What an opportunity laid out by the Latino World Order, who won those championships all the way back on the 3rd of October at the season premiere of SmackDown, defeating Angel and Birdo, a rivalry that the LWO has been dealing with for a while. Of course, this coming Thursday on SmackDown, Santos Escobar set to get at the man who runs with Angel and Birdo, and that's Andrade. That's coming up in just a few days, but here we go. Dragon Lee kicking off this match high. Dragon Lee not going to hold any punches. Knows he can keep down Nathan Frazier. He did it before in the quarterfinal round, but can he do it in tag team action? The back is against the wall, and the gold is on the line. Certainly confident is the Latino World Order. Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio have proved to be one hell of a team and a team that really came together thanks to Dragon Lee's breakout performance in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic. Oh man, Lee with fire underneath his feet, shot out like a cannon. Just as they have week after week, ever since September the 29th, Dragon Lee allowing this universe to come unglued. Nathan Frazier on spaghetti legs. Dragon Lee looking for that Frankensteiner with the assist over the top rope, but Frazier had it scouted from a mile away. And Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Tag Team Championship opportunity for these two individuals here on this Cruiserweight Classic Sunday. Those are two men who came together after a successful victory on SmackDown, all the way back in the month of April against Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Makes you wonder if Fraser and Axiom will feel a little bit more confident knowing they have kept down at least one of the men that they oppose here tonight. Nonetheless, Nathan Fraser has slowed down the pace of this matchup, which is certainly something to say as Fraser's pace is usually at his mantra, is never slow down. Dragon Lee with the one with the rocket underneath of him in the early part of this matchup. Frazier just trying to gain some composure. And recalibrate a game plan here. So it's Dragon Lee into the corner. Oh, man. I'm going to talk about shot out like a cannon. Look no further than that drop kick. There's a tag made to Axiom. Tag made to the Hall of Famer, Ray Mysterio. And both men charging at each other. Axiom going to get the last laugh. Three mass superstars in this matchup, and a man who might as well be a Lucha Libre superstar. All four of these men know all about the Cruiserweight division. Rey Mysterio has held the Cruiserweight Championship many a times throughout his career, whether it's been in WCW or right here in WWE. June of 2023, the last time Mysterio held the Cruiserweight title gold. Ray just trying to fight out enemy territory here. Oh, using the ropes to his advantage and plants a pair of boots on Axiom's dome. Mysterio now starting to rev up the engines as he drops Axiom with the split in the DDT to retain the titles. Not just yet. It's going to be one hell of a Sunday here in the WWE. Of course, as we talked about, massive power outage in our studio causing Survivor Series to be delayed a night, but it is going down right here tonight. Kia Center down in Orlando, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, the kickoff at 4.30 for No Nation Gaming channel members. All the action on this amazing Sunday in the middle of November kicks off right here in Midtown Manhattan at the Cruiserweight Classic. And Axiom and Rey Mysterio juking and jiving in an attempt to gain some momentum in this contest as once again Mysterio relies on the drop kick out of the corner. Axiom really came in hot, but has not made much of a difference since. There's a reversal that time. Sends Mysterio in enemy territory, and Nathan Frazier getting a little shot. Today's challengers not looking to leave any stone unturned. They know they've kept down at least Rey Mysterio before. They've challenged for the WWE Tag Team titles in the past as well. They are looking to make the most of this opportunity, and how apropos would it be for them to win the tag team titles here at Hammerstein, where they have found some unfortunate defeat in recent weeks. Oh man, Mysterio perched on top rope, Axiom in hot pursuit. I think we know what comes next. Spanish fly from the top.
And Axiom's not done. Eyes locked. On the Hall of Famer and a pump kick right to the jawline. Into the cover. And Dragon Lee going to ensure this matchup isn't over yet. Saved by his tag team partner, Rey Mysterio, nearly getting caught in the crossfires of this open challenge. Amazing pair of maneuvers by Axiom. Now a sense of urgency out of one half of the champions in Rey Mysterio. Knocks Axiom down to size and just trying to unload with a flurry of offense. Rey Mysterio, again, that sense of urgency might have kicked in back against the wall. Now he's got Axiom right where he wants him. Bringing in the enemy territory. And Rey Mysterio going to get a much-needed tag to a man he has dubbed the future of Lucha Libre in Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee taken down. Axiom with help of the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio that time. Let's see if he can turn the tables for the champions in this contest. Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio proven to be defending champions. Just three days ago, retained those titles on SmackDown. Against Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Wasted only a few minutes before they issued this open challenge for the Cruiserweight Classic Finale. Axiom on his feet. Dragon Lee head scissors take down and stacks him up with a pinfall. And almost had him. Axiom nearly getting caught. Dragon Lee proved to be a difference maker here at Hammerstein Ballroom. Unloading. There's a... Slick reversal by Axiom that time. Tries to send Dragon Lee to the corner. Referee Chad Patton getting caught in the fire. Half Nelson gonna pull the rug right out from underneath Lee's feet. And a much needed tag to Nathan Frazier. And there's that never slow down mantra that we talked about earlier. Frazier with his own score to settle against Dragon Lee after he was knocked out of this tournament in the quarterfinal rounds by one half of the tag team champions. Both men going for some high risk maneuvers, some massive blows, neither of them connected except that time. Fast paced action here between Dragon Lee and Nathan Frazier as they jock for position in the middle of Midtown. Side effect by Frazier. And falls over the mood salt. A little salt in the wounds for the champions. We could be on the verge of new WWE Tag Team Champions here at the Cruiserweight Classic. Frazier going high. Frog splash dropped on the button. Not over yet. Not over yet. Rey Mysterio coming in to break things up. Frazier caught a pair of boots. Close call there for the champions as the challengers nearly proclaim themselves as the rightful holder to the gold. But just because this matchup isn't over doesn't mean that Dragon Lee is anywhere out of harm's way. Surviving, but certainly not thriving. Tag made to Axiom. 450 by Frazier. They used this last Saturday at Fall Brawl to defeat Angel and Birdo. Now to win the titles here at the CWC. Not just yet. Dragon Lee still alive. Man, oh man. The 450 by Frazier. The moonsault by Axiom. But no three count to be had. We have got ourselves a barn burner here at the Cruiserweight Classic. The WWE Tag Team titles are on the line. Dragon Lee. Able to mount some momentum. Reverse the pressure. Takes out Axiom momentarily now. Just going to try to rev it up. Dragon Lee must have saw that championship rain flash before his eyes. Bicycle knee. And way too close to Nathan Frazier. No way Frazier was going to allow a three count that time. Dragon Lee, whether he expected a three or not, has found the momentum back on the Latino World Order side and a tag made of the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. Gotta hope Mysterio's gonna come in and be a difference maker. Around and around he goes. Tilt the world takedown. Tag made to Frazier. And here we are with Nathan Frazier, Rey Mysterio. Reversal that time. Frazier, but I got caught from Midtown. To the 619! Springboard! Frog splash by Ray! 
Axiom breaks things up. Nathan Frazier just got caught. And now a tag made to Dragon Lee. I don't think Lee had that much time for R&R, &R, but who, is, who are we to bet against the LWO's game plan? Frazier tried to roll to the outside to catch his breath. Mysterio did not allow it. Dragon Lee now inside the squared circle. Operation Dragon. Dead center of the ring. Once again, Dragon Lee has swept away Nathan Frazier's hopes and dreams. An incredible contest to kick off what is going to be an amazing Sunday. From Midtown all the way to Orlando tonight, Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio setting the precedent for the in-ring action. And still, WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio, the LWO! Open challenge issued, open challenge victory secured. Frazier and Axiom giving them a fight, but the tag team titles remain with the LWO. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code. Follow on TikTok and don't miss a second of Velocity. Well, as we have briefly discussed, some massive power outages in our studio causing a delay with Survivor Series, but Survivor Series goes down live tonight. Main show kicks off at 5 p.m. Eastern time down in Orlando, but the kickoff begins at 4.30 for No Nation Gaming channel members. And you still got time to hit the join button down below and become a channel member. And don't miss out on what is going to be an exciting six-man gauntlet matchup. Wesley and Tyler Bate are set to meet in moments for the Cruiserweight Championship. Later tonight, we're going to know the number one contender. Zachary Wentz, Frankie Kazarian, Joaquin Wilde, Cruz Del Toro, Javon Evans, Noam Dar on the kickoff. But then we look towards the main show, Survivor Series War Games. The United States Championship will be on the line courtesy of Thursday Night SmackDown. Carmelo Hayes is going to win back the championship that he lost in an open challenge to main event, Jey Uso. They lock horns later this evening. From Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship will be contested between two heavyweights. Solo Sokoa, the enforcer himself, in hot pursuit of Big Bronson Reed. Reed winning that championship just a few weeks ago. It's his first defense later tonight against the street champ. And on the same night that Bronson Reed won that Intercontinental Championship, we also crowned a new women's champion on Monday Night Raw. That was the EST, Bianca Belair. But as guaranteed, the Queen of the Ring winner, Tiffany Stratton, gets her opportunity at Championship Gold. Bianca Stratton, for the third time this year, it's the rubber match later tonight. A personal battle that Drew McIntyre yesterday afternoon on WWE.com promised would not be a long fight. It'll be a short, sweet, brutal affair. McIntyre promises to remove Ilya Dragunov from his life for good. It is going to be a battle in the first blood matchup between McIntyre and Dragunov. Not one, but two War Games matches signed for later tonight. From SmackDown, Women's World Champion Roxanne Perez teams with the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka, Io Sky, and Kyrie Sane as they take on Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, Zelina Vega, and Raquel Rodriguez. Chaos this past Thursday, it all concludes inside War Games. From Monday Night Raw, the opposite War Games matchup as the WWE Champion AJ Styles aligns with the collective unit known as the Judgment Day as they take on the all-star group of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Seth freaking Rollins, and CM Punk. 
And in a matchup that we can confirm will main event later tonight in Orlando at Survivor Series, John Cena is in chase of his 17th World Heavyweight Championship as he challenges the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, Cena and Rhodes, two icons of this industry, clash for the big gold belt in tonight's main event at Survivor Series. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. It is time to decide the winner of the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. All the marbles are at stake. Not only the chance to etch your name in the annals of history as only the third ever winner of this tournament, but of course the Cruiserweight Championship is also on the line. The Cardiac Kid, Wesley, defeating Axiom, defeating Javon Evans and taking down Dragon Lee to march his way to the finals on this Sunday afternoon. An impressive road by Wesley. Many talk about that opening round contest against Axiom as the hardest fought battle in this tournament thus far for any respective participant of the entire field. Wesley certainly earning his spot in this afternoon's CWC finale, but can he keep down a man who has been wrestling at the top of his game not only throughout this tournament, but since the month of July when he won the Cruiserweight Championship of the World? All questions we remain answers to as the big strong boy makes his way down the aisle. Tyler Bate taking down J.D. McDonough, Pete Dunn, and Chad Gable on his journey throughout this tournament thus far. Remember before the tournament began, Tyler Bate made a proclamation that not only he was gonna enter, but that he was gonna defend his Cruiserweight Championship through each and any round he was lucky enough to participate in. And to the benefit of everybody Tyler Bate has fought against in this tournament, Tyler has continued to move to the next round. But tonight, it is here, it's the finals. It's one more championship defense for Tyler Bate. And if he's successful, Man, Tyler's gonna put himself not only in the annals of history, but in the record books as one of the greatest cruiserweight champions, dare I say, of all time. Winning that title back in July, retaining it throughout the tournament, can he turn away one more challenge against a game cardiac kid in Wesley? We saw what this tournament did last year for one Ilya Dragunov. He's become one of the faces of Thursday Night SmackDown. That is similar to what Tyler Bate and Wesley are scratching and clawing for in this CWC finale. Introducing the challenger from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Banks. Both these men looking ready and raring to go as Tyler Bate who has held that Cruiserweight Championship since Money in the Bank in London, England, all the way back in July, hands it over for what could be the very last time. Wesley glaring at what could be his new prize. 
Tyler Bate not going to give Wesley an easy round. Not going to give Wesley an easy fight. If Lee wants this golden opportunity and wants to be the winner of this tournament, he is going to have to bry it from Tyler Bates' cold hands as we are underway with the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament Final. Talked about the journey that these two men have gone through to earn their way to the finals on this Sunday afternoon. And now with Tyler's championship on the line as well, the stakes could not be any higher. Wesley going to need to rely on his speed and agility. Tyler Bate also houses plenty of that, but of course the strength going to be the X factor for the champion in this matchup. Should be a very interesting contest here. Two men who stand similarly, very eye to eye. Should be very interesting to see who's going to get the momentum in the early part of this matchup. Because ever since the opening bell about a minute ago, there's just been a lot of back and forth action between Lee and Bate. There's Wesley charging up and taking down Tyler with a very similar uppercut. We've seen Tyler Bate exploit in that ring, and there's a ripcord knee by the challenger to the title. Wesley has fought long and hard. He has had cruiserweight championship opportunities in the, in the past, excuse us, but never have they gone his way. Maybe today is where it all turns around. Double stop from the top. Wesley. Pedal to the metal. Not going to get the victory just yet, but he nearly took the wind out of bait. Man, you remember last year in this Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, Wesley was knocked out, bounced in the first round of it all. Now to fight back in 2024, make it all the way to the finals. Wesley on the verge of not only being the cardiac kid, but the comeback one as well. Not if Tyler Bates got anything to say about it. Sends him flying into the ropes and brings him right down to the canvas with an emphatic German. And now just gonna try to unscrew anything in the mind of Wesley. Kill the confidence. Bouncing his head off the buckle. Not once, not twice, all the way to the count of ten. There's Wesley sending Tyler to the ropes. Shouldn't have took too long to capitalize. Tilt the world, DDT. This is going to be a great athletic contest. Both of these men house so much incredible ability inside of that ring. We may be in for a war of attrition. This afternoon's like this contest and matches inside of the ring where you certainly empty the tank, let adrenaline fuel you, push past your limits. Tyler Bate in trouble. Getting dropped with a DDT on the apron. Wesley has taken firm control of this contest. Great series of maneuvers, and now Bate. It's got to be dazed. It's got to be a little confused after getting dropped right on the hardest part of the ring. Wesley on the outside, not going to capitalize here. A little bit slow to Tyler Bate. Sends him into the ropes and takes him down with a drop kick. Tyler Bate may be feeling a little sense of urgency, although we are early into this contest, not looking to allow Wesley to be the dictator of the pace. Massive knee, exposed knee, of course, by the big strong boy. Maybe knocking Wesley down to size and not turning this thing into a race to the finish line and more of a marathon instead of a sprint. Might be Tyler Bates. Best idea against the Cardiac Kid as he sends Wesley over the top rope. Here comes the champion, Floss, Barry Flop, what a maneuver! Tyler Bate with some springs in his boots. An incredible maneuver by the Cruiserweight Champion. And you see Wesley was able to reverse the pressure on that Irish whip. But Tyler Bate is not hesitating. He feels confident, dead center of the ring, allowing the Cardiac Kid to come to him. Sends Lee to the ropes again, and Tyler Bate heavily relying on his strength. We have seen several suplexes and throws like that thus far. Tyler Bate revving up the engines just in that split moment to hit that Flossberry flop over the top rope. Thought that was going to give him the sustained momentum he wanted, but there's Wesley not allowing a rally by the Cruiserweight Champion. Lee clearly motivated as all hell to get the job done as Bate perched on the top. 
Incredible Frankensteiner. You want to talk about having springs in your boots? Look no further. And another kick out that time. And you got to imagine there was great respect between these two individuals, but after the last eight weeks of competition inside of that ring and the stakes as high as they are, these two men are not going to hold any punches against the other. Cruiserweight Classic Tournament hangs in the balance. The inaugural won by TJ Perkins all the way back in 2016. Ilya Dragunov winning the return of the tournament last year. What a year it's been ever since. Wesley and Tyler Bate looking to join that elite list. Mark their name in the history books. Tyler Bate off the shooting star. And another close call. Tyler Bate, the ever defending champion, finding himself in a struggle against today's opponent. Wesley sent into the corner once more as Tyler Bate just looks to find a way to get some sustained momentum in this contest. Stacking the offense, maybe his best maneuver, relying on the strength. And here it is again. Letting all the blood rush to his head. A delayed superplex. Tyler Bates fired up. Midtown Manhattan's fired up. Wesley is looking up at the lights of the ballroom. Bates off the top, elevated knee. And the champion may have this match won. Not just yet. And nearly desperation on the face of Tyler that time. The delayed superplex. Then the leap from the top. But the cardiac kid's still alive. Bate could be looking for an around and around tilt to whirl. But there's Lee off the reversal. The challenger doing his homework. And gets Bate off his feet once more. Tyler up against the ropes and not for long as Wesley just knocks him down. Wesley able to survive some incredible offense by the champion, but does he have enough left in the tank to get back on the right side of this contest? And what an incredible tournament it has been, and it culminates right here, right now in this matchup. Oh no, outside of the ring, destroyer by Wesley! At ringside, knocking Tyler Bates' lights out. The champion may be seeing stars. Back inside the ring where Wesley hopes to get a victory. Well, Lee's obviously not done just yet. Tyler Bates trying to use the ropes to get to his feet. Wesley looking to close the gap. Down goes Tyler with a cardiac kick just collapsed in the ring, but he's still alive. A cardiac kick out of the corner. But it is not enough to keep down the champion just yet. What a battle we have on hand here in Hammerstein Ballroom. A building that has housed so many legendary wars. Witness is another. A war of attrition, that is, between Wesley and Tyler Bate for the CWC crown and the Cruiserweight Championship. Gotta imagine what's going through Wesley's mind. He had to think he had this one put away. Hopefully he came in with a secondary blueprint. As Tyler Bate, once again, rallies. Send and leave for a ride down to the floor. Exhaustion's got to be setting in for these two individuals. There's Tyler once again set over the top rope. Wait a minute, Wesley going to rely on what has worked. Once again drops Tyler with a DDT on the apron. And falls it up with a corkscrew. Making a dose. Wesley doing anything he can to keep down Tyler Bate. Sends him into the diamond plated steps. Bit of a sense of urgency out of Wesley. He saw Tyler Bate in a familiar situation on that apron and he capitalized. And he's very, it was very risky to go back to the well with that maneuver, knowing Tyler has felt it before and may have had it scouted. 
The Lee confident in his offense, and luckily it worked out for him. Back inside the ring, Wesley obviously needs to get the job done between the ropes if he wants to win the title here. Springboard stunner. Relied on that maneuver very heavily at his bout against Javon Evans several weeks back. Wesley not going for a cover just yet. Just looking to continue to add salt to the wounds. Tyler Bate looking up at the lights of Hammerstein Ballroom. This cannot be a comfortable position for the champion as Wesley on top, riding a wave at the current moment. Cardiac Kid heading to the top rope, but Tyler Bate getting to his feet, and there's Wesley. You got to respect that decision. Not looking to throw all this momentum away for the possibility of Tyler surviving. Here's a reversal that time. Maybe second guessing wasn't the best idea. Nice head scissors takedown. Does the champion have one more rally here in the middle of Midtown Manhattan? Couple of takedowns to his challenger. Sends Wesley into the corner. Here's Tyler Bate, massive splash, collapsing his opponent. Tyler Bate, with one last ditch effort, tries to find an answer to keep down this cardiac kid. My goodness, what a suplex. Lee doing all he can to just not stay on the canvas, just trying to get to his feet. But Tyler is just meeting him at every crossing point. Brought to his feet by Will of Tyler Bate that time. And an uppercut to the back of the neck. Nothing pretty about it. Just effective by the champion. Oh man, Wesley might regret rolling to that corner because Tyler Bates wheels are a spinning. And so is Wes's body off the German. Into the cover. No, only a one count that time. Midtown Manhattan on their feet. Tyler Bay in disbelief. But now, Tyler Driver 97. Dead center of the ring. This one's not over yet. Wesley's heart is still pumping. You have got to be kidding. Off the German, off the Tyler Driver. Wesley is still got some breath in his lungs. And now off the springboard stunner. Maybe Wesley has got one more gear he can shift into. Maybe he's tapping into reserves. Maybe he's got something left. There's Tyler Bate. Oh, wait a minute. Sense of urgency. Schoolboy trying to steal the victory right out from underneath Lee's nose, not allowing it. Tyler unloading, literally emptying the tank. Tried to catch Wesley there. Lee read that playbook before. Tyler dropped into the corner. Tyler Bate with a reversal. Wesley with a reversal. Full head of steam. Tyler set out of the corner. Second cardiac kick. Is Tyler knocked out for good? He is. Wesley conquers it all. What an incredible, resilient performance by the new Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the Cardiac Kid, Wesley, who etches his name in the history books as the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament winner. An incredible tournament over the last eight weeks. We thank you for joining us here in Hammerstein Ballroom, and we'll see you later tonight in Orlando at Survivor Series.